Immigration and Customs Enforcement has been pulling off raids right, left, and sideways in sanctuary cities across America, where violent illegal aliens are protected by leftist politicians with your money, and you will not believe who they've caught. Actually, no, on second thought, you might. Hey guys, I'm Brittany Hughes, and this is Reality Check on MRC TV. So, fun fact, ICE just arrested 33 known or suspected human rights violators from around the world who were here illegally, and that was just last week. They arrested four Chinese citizens who had performed forced abortions and sterilizations on Chinese women. There was a former intelligence officer from Central America who had spied on and arrested dozens of people who were then tortured. They picked up a high-level intelligence officer from the Middle East who had aided in the arrest, torture, and murder of God only knows how many people. Oh, and there was also a dude from East Africa who had used violence to force women into having their genitals mutilated. Eight of these people had been convicted of crimes right here in the U.S. for things like battery, weapons violations, and DUIs, and these are just the international human rights criminals. Because ICE also picked up 60 illegal aliens in New Jersey this week, including a 54-year-old child rapist who had assaulted a police officer and been convicted of burglary. The week before that, they nabbed 225 illegals in New York. These guys included criminals convicted of child rape, assault, theft, DUI, resisting arrest, drug charges, weapons charges, and murder. So just so we're all clear here, when sanctuary cities talk about protecting immigrants, this is who they're talking about. See, sanctuary city policies do not just mean that they give free handouts to illegals. It means that local authorities are prohibited from turning criminal aliens like these over to immigration. Criminal aliens. We're not talking about Sweet Maria, whose house in Guatemala got blown away by a hurricane and now she works at Holiday Inn. We're not talking about Mr. Patel, who runs the cash register at the local 7-Eleven so that his son can become an optometrist. We're not even talking about dreamers who got dragged across the border illegally when they were three and now all they want to do is go to UCLA and major in lesbian dance theory. Oh no. We are talking about gangbangers who run around with illegal weapons selling drugs and trafficking women. We are talking about drunk drivers who run stoplights and T-bone a mom and her three kids in her minivan. We're talking about war criminals who are wanted in their home countries for things like torture, murder, and rape. That is who sanctuary cities protect. Do not tell me that this is all about Pablo and his dream to finally get his high school diploma. Sanctuary cities protect murderers and thieves and child molesters, and they do it on your dime. And by the way, guess who studies have found are the primary victims of illegal alien crime? Other immigrants. Most illegal alien crimes are committed in immigrant communities. So tell me, how much can you possibly care about immigrants if your official policy is to dump violent felons back into their neighborhoods? Because that is what sanctuary cities do. They do not care about you. They do not care about immigrants. Because if they did, they probably wouldn't be giving Jorge the gangbanging crackhead a free pass back into your apartment complex. And that's your reality check. Make sure that you subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.